Hello commanders and welcome to part 18 of the Imperial Zealandia series. In the last part, we lost the naval battle of the Aden Gulf. Yes, we were uh, overwhelmed with the French huge navies and also the German submarines. Yes, we bought some time and uh, now we are retreating. But here in the Indian front, we are fighting versus Germany. Germany is pushing hard with his Max level motorized infantry and level 5 mobile on tier. Also, we have another uh, land front which is going to enter from the south of Kazakhstan to the north of Afghanistan. There, here I am scouting with my naval patrol aircrafts. Where are the French navies and the German submarines? After I lost my stack of uh, attack uh, submarines after the battle of the Gulf of Aden. Here it's going to be uh, a marathon of hits and runs versus these motorized infantries. Uh, you know that uh, my land army here has only one weakness point, actually, which is the helicopters, because the mobile sum launches they are they don't they do not even attack the rotary wing aircrafts because they are low altitude aircrafts and uh, they are not detected by mobile sum launchers. This is why I hope that Germany does not have helicopters. Uh, we know that he invested on his uh, strike fighters, he has max level strike fighters, so I really do not think that he made helicopters, but we shall see. Here he has two nearby airports in Bangalore and Hyderabad. I'd like to pass through them and take them down to uh, destroy those um, air bases. Of course, destroying their uh, logistics is very important in, in these long term wars because they are going to slow their movements, they are going to reduce their capabilities and strategies. On the other side of the world, from the Atlantic Ocean, we are advancing with the 8th Task Force and also the other one which is crossing the Panama Canal. I am going straight to the uh, coasts of France, I'm going to intimidate him near his homeland cities, I'm going to attack his naval defenses there. While I am, I am giving them hard time here on land and also in the Navy, in the Indian no Ocean, I will keep them busy here and discard their uh, their eyes from their homeland cities later they will be surprised when I when I confirm my presence near their homeland cities with my attack submarines yeah I know it's going to be um, it's going to be a bit a uh, surprising event because they are not going to expect that I will cross all around the world to go for them they will expect that I am now fortifying my homeland cities and I am afraid from uh, uh, afraid that they can come to me but no I am taking my chance to go for the offensive. Bad news, he took this province. Well, when he, take the, when he takes this province, my armies, they are going to be visible for him. Now he can see that I only have the mobile sum launches, which means that uh, my weakness point is going to be the helicopters. I really hope that he does not have the idea to send me helicopters. Some of you, they are going to tell me why you didn't make that, why you didn't make this. Bro, we are playing with New Zealand. After all, we are always limited with resources production and the production of supplies and components has been a huge challenge for us since the beginning. And now, when I invested on the mobile sum launches and also the mobile artilleries, uh, our supplies production is uh, decreasing significantly because the daily upkeep is getting higher and higher by the time. So yeah, I tried to um, make a possible combination of navies and land armies, also of air force, which is the naval patrol aircraft. Uh, I could not really make the um, air superiority fighters because they will consume a lot of electronics. And also, I did not manage to make the mobile on the air because I was investing on the mobile artilleries. I'm trying to uh, uh, position my 16th task force near the Gibraltar Strait and here finally we see a naval radar there is a naval radar here but this time I am not going to engage this naval radar because it's going to be uh, a mistake like we did in the naval battle of the Aden uh, Gulf because uh, this naval patrol aircraft with the speed of 850 is going to be extremely heavy to go back and refuel so no I'm going just to use it to scout the oceans and scout the waters I'm going to go back here near um, uh, Sri Lanka because I am building the a uh, airfield okay Germany is surrounding us from both sides now look at this 
He is encircling me in the middle. It's very bad sometimes when you play and engage land wars, land battles without air force. It's so bad. It's so bad to go in such a war without air force. Because when you have air force, you will have possibilities. We have a variety of strategies. Yet I know playing with artilleries is going to be good, attacking your enemies from distance, etc. But in this case, when you are still uh, reloading with one hour reload time, the enemy is going to take that chance to encircle you and send all of his um, melee forces to you. Of course, when you are speaking about tanks, when you are speaking about anti-tanks, infantries, yeah, when you are using artilleries, he might send you everything and throw them on you. My northern front is still advancing, my stack of mobile artilleries, mobile sum launches and uh, national guards is still advancing from the north. I will also try to encircle him from the north and uh, get, of course, I go pass through Afghanistan, Pakistan and encircle him in India. Like that, I will do the same strategy that he is doing to me here. Okay, we landed a strike, now he only have... Uh, two motorized infantry is almost dead. Yeah, good thing. Good thing that you have artilleries that can attack from distance. I will need more mobile sum launches here in this uh, position. Bad news, boys. Bad news, boys. Look at this. Poland sent his attack helicopters. Well, it wasn't Germany who had the helicopters. It was Poland. Well, this was a surprise. I did not expect Poland to interfere in this war. But looks like finally, finally, we are against a well-organized coalition. A coalition that is fighting together. A coalition that has a very decent army, a very decent navy. And making this game very hard for us. I'm falling in love with this event i'm falling in love with it because actually i will be so happy to fight against decent armies well another naval radar sonar contact there are some winds coming for me boys well luckily i am uh, i put a lot of naval patrol aircrafts around my nation to see and have a vision this is why i always tell you to put uh, naval patrol aircrafts and awacs around your island to have better vision if we did not have naval patrol aircrafts there those submarines they might be in our shores and they might be hunting our frigates you know frigates cannot see submarines put this in mind boys okay let's see who is this who is this coming from uh, for us Submarines, maybe it's Germany because we saw that Germany has the attack submarines France did not had uh, no um, subs because he had the cruisers and the destroyers We will see we will see about that I'm trying to um, now to retreat my artillery because I have no single chance versus those uh, helicopters the bad thing, I do not have mobile anti-air, I do not have uh, air superiority fighters, so yeah. The only solution now is to flee with my artilleries from there. Okay, let's have a look. What is this sonar? I'd like to see it. One second, it will appear for, for us soon. It will appear. I will reassemble the 9th artillery division with the northern one. I will try to hit these four infantries while I am fleeing. Okay, who is it? It's Poland! Whoa, level 3 ballistic submarines. Look at that, boys. Attack submarines and ballistic submarines. Well, looks like he is going to throw some nukes on us. I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't throw nukes on us. I do not have anti-missiles, boys. Okay, I will focus the fire of all my naval patrol aircrafts on him. I have uh, a stack of attack submarines going to that direction. It's going to take a while, yes. But I will try to sink it before it comes to me. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. We will meet in the next one with more action and enjoyment. Bye-bye.